Uh, I, I came up without sheets of paper. And I just wanted to. I, I spent a lot of time trying to trying to think of what would be the best way of honoring you guys, and I figured the best way was just to to try to be myself and try to you know just really tell you how much I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate the the things that you've brought to each other. As Lisa was saying, I I really it's been it's been just an honor for me to be able to watch you kind of become more like each other. <laughs> um, it's, which, I mean, it's, it, it's balanced both of you in such a, such a great way. And I think one of the, one of the things that I've really, um, I've noticed the most out of both of you, both, both through our friendship and through your, through your relationship, is just the, um, just the, the forgiving nature that you have. I mean, that's, that's mostly kind of aimed towards me, but it's kind of the, um, the, the, just the unconditional love that both of you have shown. You know, I, I imagine everybody in this room have, has seen that at some level. I know I have, and it's been great to witness how it's been shown to each other. So um, I just wanted to kind of say a, a reminder, just I've, you know, I've only been married for five years. It's been you know, five of the greatest years of my life, but one of the things that I've learned is if you can just keep that that unfor uh, or the, the unforgiving <laughs> the, the forgiving nature that you have and the unconditional love that you have for each other, it will it will just your marriage will continue to grow and thrive and it'll just be the, the greatest experience of your life. So thank you for, for letting me be a part of this day and just I I'm, I'm so happy to I'm so happy to be part of this and I know everyone else is here also. So if you'd all raise your glasses with me. The bride and groom. Here, here. To the bride and groom. Here, here.